once we convert it to Z, we don't need to worry about the dollars because we've turned it into a standard score. So sanity check, is our area going to be above or below 0.5? Carly? Carly? Um, what can we expect? A, a, an area above or below 0.5? Above? Why? Above being shaded? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> because we know that if a z-score is positive, it's over the mean. Okay. And we know that the mean is 0.5. Right. So if any value above, we're going to have a, an area of 0.5 or over. Great. Um, so now we get to use our fancy table. Uh, and take a second and do the look up on your own. This is your big moment. 1.02. Choose your right side. Remember, we've got negative z scores, table area less than 0.5. Isn't that nice? On the test, I think they'll actually write that. Table value area equals equals area less than 0.5. So we know I'm on the wrong side because I know my table value is going to be over 0.5 because my z-score is positive. It even reminds us that. Mm -hmm. Did you look at Bella? We were looking up the z-score for Lester. Rachel, do you want to fill her in? How are we doing in the back? Gita, Emma, did you get to do a look-up? Do you want to share the big number? No, Gita does not. Wouldn't it, yeah? wouldn't it be 0.8461? We have a nomination in the front said very quietly. Do you want to tell everyone what you think? Yes. Uh, you said point eight. Eight four six one. We have an eight four six one. Any seconds? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look how exciting! One point oh two. One point oh two is point eight four six one. Now we can do another sanity check. What's the other sanity check we can do? This is really important thinking. I'm going to get, take a look at this. Remember that our 68, 95, 99.7 rule is using fences from the middle going out. The fancy table is from the infinity to the left all the way to your score. So if, because our z-score was approximately equal to 1, what does our rule say? We knew, not only did we know it's going to be over... 50, but we knew it's going to be over what? It's going to be over this because it includes the rest of the z's to the left. Because it's infinity to the left all the way to our score. So I, I can't emphasize this enough. If you're not doing sanity checks along the way, you're liable to make a mistake somewhere. Because the numbers, you can look up anything in this table. You know, and, and you can, the subtractions will get you anywhere. So always putting it through a sanity check will be helpful. So this said 84.61% of people are expected to make less than or equal to Lester because a z-score of 1.02 captures 84.61% of all the area under the curve from 1.02 all the way to the left infinity. That's really cool. So we would say, let's look up our z, so z is 1.02, I might use an arrow and say table lookup, table lookup gives me 0 0.8461 or 84.61% of states less than less than or equal to Lester.
is a powerful thing. You describe a lot of the world with this. Uh, oh wow, we're doing we're doing okay. Uh, question nine is our flipper. Anyone can read nine? Avery, maybe? Mm -hmm. Could you read nine? Yes. Thanks. Using the same computations as the previous question, what percent of U.S. states would we expect to have material making median incomes more than masters of $25,348? One little calculation required. Remember, this is where I'm just having you flip it. We learned that 84.61 are less. So how many are more? Draw your picture. Always draw a picture. Here's mean. X bar. Here's Lester. Lester gets a capital. We know that total under the curve equals 1. So this part equals 1 minus what? Yep, you got it. I didn't need to do another lookup. I just needed to flip my value to be a greater than. So I'm going to let my calculator help. Equals 0 0.1539 or 15.39% greater than Lester. Lester is 1.02. Okay, for the last five minutes, I'm going to give you the last example or that you'll need for the homework. This is cool. Xena. You can read about Xena. Xena is an aspiring material mover. Look at this weird number. Where is that? Where are you going to look up that weird number? Yes, in the fancy table. Gita got it. This is cool. So this will produce a Z score that corresponds. So draw our picture. We want to know. Uh, we're going to make an estimate. Which side of the mean is the Z score going to be on? It gave me the look like I don't want to have to say it. Don't make me say it. Then, so is it going to be less than the mean or over the mean? The mean is 50. Okay. So, less, yes, exactly. So we know Zena is going to be somewhere here. So, it's going to be somewhere here, but we don't know exactly where. The key, the reason we need to know that is because we have to know which side of the table to look at. So we know it's not this because everything in this table is over five. There is no number in this entire table that's over five, wrong side. Now we're looking in the, in the, in the guts of the table. This, this is, now it's a search and destroy exercise. I'm, uh, I'm always going to give you a number that's in the table. The test is not going to ask you to make an inference between. If you take a stats course, they will. They'll give you a number that's somewhere in between two, and you have to infer. But I'm giving you an actual number. So we need to convert this to a decimal. Pop this little puppy over two. So we're looking for what number? 0. 0. 0.4168. And then we're going to back out your z-score. So point... Negative 0.2. Negative 0.2. Uh, oh. 0. 0.2. A point two one. Point four. 
168. Good. So, oh, you couldn't see it. So here's the here's what we found, 0.4168. So now we're just reading the table backwards. Negative 0 0.02 one. That's what we have to transfer carefully to our paper. So this in the reverse lookup is a z equals negative z equals negative 0 0.21 Oops, sorry. Now, Zena wants to know how much that means that she would need to make to earn more than or equal to 41.68% of all U.S. states. So our last step is, um, so th we, this is answer A. So we just did A. What's the standard score would she have to get? And then we have to do our last conversion. So what dollar value? So now we need to go back to dollars using what we know about the distribution of material movers. So put down what we know. We know a z-score is equal to our observed value minus mean over standard deviation. We know that Zena wants a z-score of negative 0 0.21. And so we want to know, she wants to know how much would she have to make. So now we take the unknown minus our mean of $23,639 divided by a standard deviation of 1000 no six, $1,674. So we solve for our unknown, which will give her a, a, income. So I know we're a minute over, but this is... Zena, Zena really needs to make some career plans here. Um, so let's reverse solve for that. So we're going to take um, both sides times 1674. So negative 0.21 times 1674 is... I got negative 351.54. Does anyone agree? Yeah. Great. And last step is to add our 23,639 because it's subtracted over here. So plus 23,639 plus 23,639 plus 23,639. Oh, Zena needs to make. $23,287.46 equals Xena target salary. Unfortunately, our society does not treat material movers with very much financial respect. That's great. That's the homework, that process. Um, please make a note that we will, we have to, the train has to keep moving. I'd love to spend another week practicing this, but unfortunately we cannot. So please try to come in to office hours if you want extra help. I don't think anything on the homework is different than this, just different patterns. Or sorry, just different numbers, same patterns. So have fun. Don't forget the table. If you want to grab an extra table, you could have one at home. You could put one in your vehicle. Uh, you could put one in your kitchen, maybe in the bathroom. Uh, I've got a bunch. I made an extra. There's like a hundred copies. So uh, don't be afraid to make friends with the standard home. Um, have a lovely day, everybody. I'm going to go take a nap. See ya. Bye. Thanks. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye. Make sure you put your test in your folder, please. Otherwise, I can't enter. Have a great day. I'm sorry to call you a turn right red when I call it. I should pay attention to the Like I was, but I wasn't ready to answer. It's okay.
Thanks for uh, recording. Really appreciate it. See ya. Bye, Bye, Anna. Hey, welcome back. Hi. How are you? How are you? How are you? Good. Do you think I'm in? Is there a room? How are you? Uh, great. How are you? Good. Did you have a nice week? Uh, yeah. Are you feeling any better? No. You have all these overlapping health problems. You don't still think you have an appendicitis, do you? No. Okay. No. Okay. That would make me worry. I got, I got cleared. Oh, okay. That's good. Hey, Justice. Welcome back. One of each. Yeah, see ya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. See ya. Welcome, how's it going? Yes, you do. That's a spread. Oh, wow. Here you are, Allison. Megan, my vouchers. Oh, thanks. Yeah, come first. Fine, thanks. That's good here? Yeah. Have a lovely day. Thank you, too. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Tessa, in here. Yep. Awesome. Good luck on your test. Hey, the first time I've seen your face. Thanks, <laughs> love. It's a big deal. Uh, Some so people's faces are not as nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Tessa, in here. Yeah, it's in here. Welcome back. Did you check on that? Yeah, she had some pork chop for lunch. How's your cousin doing? He's doing better. Out of the ICU? Yeah, he's home okay. now. Good. I'm pretty much like bed rest. Okay. Actually home. Oh, good. His sister came up from Texas, so she's there now. Oh, good. Good, good, good. It's because his son 